there's a whole new generation of AI assisted app and website building that's going on every day. And I just thought I'd take a look at something like Lovable, which I've been hearing a lot of good things about that lets you just type in a prompt and have it create an app for you, uh, at least the front end. And I think they also have an integration to, to hook up a, a super base back end. So I just thought I'd see what that experience was like and just kind of take a look and record that process. So uh, let's just jump into it. You might have heard of other AI assisted um, sort of front end development tools like VO from Vercel uh, or Bolt.new. And these, you know, these are very all, all very similar where you type in a prompt and it'll start making you your various components that you need for your app or for your website. So uh, I've been hearing a lot of great things about Lovable lately, and I thought I'd just see how it works. I've never done it before. I don't have a paid account, and this isn't sponsored or anything like that. I just thought I'd jump in and take a look at what the process is like. So let's just uh, do this. I, I have created an account and I've authenticated in. Um, I want to make an app for, uh, can you make a travel directory? Let's try and see if we can get a travel directory with various cities and activities to do in the cities. And let users uh, create collections and favorite stuff. All right, so let's see how far we get. Again, this is just on the free plan. So I might hit a limit. Um, and it's something I might I might end up paying for a month of, of to just see what it's like. So anyway, let's just hit enter. And it is gonna go and just start spinning up those various components. It's going to, um, you know, there's my prompt and it's thinking right now. So it's just getting up and going. Um, I don't know if it shows like the code history or, okay, here we go. So it's, so it's saying, let me design a beautiful travel directory inspired by modern minimalist design principles. So it's going to create some design. It's going to create a sort of a prototype with a homepage, featured city, city detail pages, activity cards. Wow. It's, it's pretty comprehensive. It's, I thought maybe it would just do, you know, just the homepage, but it seems like it's doing you know, your archive and your single post templates as well. It's doing some styling. So it looks like it's using Tailwind. So it's kind of cool that you can see that it varies processes. Here's the, you know, a city card component. Looks like it's using TypeScript. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's doing a lot for me. That's for sure. Um, God knows it would take me longer to, to code something like this. So, all right. So it's saying it's done. Uh, I've created a beautiful travel directory with smooth animations, glass morphism effects, and responsive design. So it's automatically responsive. Um, let's see. AI hiccup. Let's see what happens. I don't know what this is. This is, a, you know, we're doing it in real time here. Let's see what happens. Build unsuccessful. Okay. I see the issue. The error occurs because we're trying to create a utility class called fade in. Creating, well, it's interesting. It's debugging it in real time. Okay. So I've fixed the circular dependency, renaming the class. Okay. So here is my app and I've got some cool little hover effects here. We've got Paris, Tokyo, New York City. Uh, what else do I can see? There's like the index page. Okay. So there's a city detail page and it's using dynamic URL routing. So that means I could probably click on this and it looks like it hasn't made all the city pages, but it does have the URLs correctly set up. So I, and I guess I can, I can favorite this. Okay. That's pretty cool. So this is just going to be front end. And I know that you can hook up super base. Let's see uh, right here, which means I can connect like a Postgres database to it. So I can actually have real data in here. So I kind of want to see what that is like. Uh, click to add authentication, store data, and call third party. Okay, so let's see. Connect, connect. And it should be um, logged in already with my demo account. Um, so it's just having me authorize. So authorize it. Okay. And what else can we do? I mean, it's it's already done a whole bunch of heavy lifting for me, creating all these card components. So that's pretty cool. Now it's connecting Superbase. And then I say connect to a project. Okay, so I have one project here already. Let's create a new project. And let's just do this like travel demo. 
and I don't know, we'll just enter a password here and create the project. And so that usually takes a couple minutes to spin up. Um, so we'll just give that a moment. Let's go back to here and I'll say, uh, can you add, can you add more cities and more activities? So I think you can just kind of have conversations with it and have it uh, re-implement what you've done without sort of rewriting the entire code base, which is kind of nice. It probably cuts down on the number of API calls and things like that. So, and I think you can also just specify, like, I just wanted to do styling. Um, but yeah, I mean, something like this is going to be a pretty fantastic tool for product managers, product designers, um, you know, agencies, solopreneurs that just need to quickly get an idea up and kind of test out, like get an MVP working uh, especially if you can hook up a super base backend, it's pretty, pretty easy to do. Um, okay. So it's, it's done now with this task. It's added three new cities, Kyoto, Barcelona, and Vancouver. And there they are. And I would say like the pictures, I mean, that looks like Tokyo. That's obviously Paris. I don't know if that's Barcelona. Doesn't look like it. So it's added stuff like food tours, culture activities. That's pretty cool. So does it, I don't think it has the various activities though for me. I can't see them, huh? Oh, I can. Now if I click on a city, uh, I got some styling stuff here to work on, but it's seen, it's showing me a Sen River Cruise, the Louvre Museum, the Eiffel Tower. So that's pretty cool. Um, if I go back to our index page, I can click on, I guess like Tokyo and see... Okay, so it's got some like food related stuff, some specific activities for that actual city. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty, pretty awesome that it's able to just do all this. Uh, let's see, take a look at our super base here. It's still spinning up. So we'll just wait. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, let's see, is it responsive? It is responsive. That's pretty cool. The other thing you can do is you can publish this right away. I think so I can just publish on one of their custom domain or um, subdomains, but you can also hook up a custom domain, I guess. Uh, my understanding, let me click this. I think uh, there's docs here that you can use Netlify or you can use Vercel. Um, and I don't know if you can use Cloudflare pages that work kind of similarly. Um, maybe I can try that in another video, but yeah, in any case, so now our site is published. We have a live URL you can send out to your client, like, hey, here's our proof of concept. Like before we build anything, let's let's check this out and show what the implications are. So I can see myself using this to just quickly spin something up rather than, you know, just to give clients something to actually click through to look at, even if it's just placeholder text and placeholder images, and there's not really any styling here. Um it's still pretty useful. I could, I could see myself using something like this. If I go back and do like, uh, can, can you make the design, uh, more like a bold Neo brutal brutalism design? We'll see what that does. And I still want to be able to hook up my, uh, super base backend to see just kind of what that process is like. If I need to run a bunch of SQL commands, or if it's just kind of plug and play, hey, you logged in, here's your super base. Here's the base and the tables you want. That's going to be kind of cool to check out. So let me go back here again. Still spinning up. You know, it sometimes takes a little bit of, a little bit of time. All right, so it's redoing my design here with bold, high contrast colors, sharp edges, thick borders, dramatic shadows. And yeah. It's, it's got a new bold font. It's got a big, thick outline border. Uh, so yeah, that's, that is kind of what I wanted. Um, doesn't really have any, it's just high contrast, black and white. It's not using any colors or anything like that. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's doing what I want. Um, I can see here, I can attach images and select. I don't know what, select multiple elements. Oh, interesting. So you could like select a particular card, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh, make the card headings lowercase and a bun bold 
color besides black. Uh, yeah, let's see what that does. And then again, let's go back here. Okay, we our super base is connected now. So I should be able to, once this is done, to hook up this to a database and we'll see what happens. Okay, so yeah, it's it's done that. It's changed my heading titles to a new color with a new bold color. So that's cool. It tells me the actual hex color. Awesome. You could probably feed this in your actual design schemes if you have that for your client. Um, okay, so wonderful. Let's go to Superbase here, connect to a project. Here's my new project. I have the little green connect here. Connect. So connect this lovable project to Superbase. Sure, I would like to do that. We're going to give permissions for that, I guess. Okay, so I'm connecting your Superbase project to gather your database structure, tables, and security settings. So that's pretty awesome. I like that it can connect to Superbase and potentially create all those tables. If it's going to do like authentication for me, that would be awesome. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it like on this free plan. I, I, I don't know how it works, but pretty awesome that it's able to connect and, and create some uh, database structure and schema for us. So we'll see what it does. It's thinking now. And I wonder, like it's in, in VO, I think you can like see your code more. Okay, so here we go. Your super base is now connected. You can work with a fully featured backend and add powerful features. So we can add user accounts and login. So that would require authentication. Store and use real data. So save app data, mm -hmm. add advanced features. Okay. Important note, before you deploy your app to production or use any real data, you will need to review and set up appropriate RLS row level security policies. I can help with that. Um, yeah, can you set up RLS? Ah, well, there we go. I've hit the limit <laughs> of the free plan. So, you know, I use some design prompts in there to, to that maybe aid into the credits or whatever. Um, but let's see, what, what was the pricing here? So 20 bucks a month, it gets me beyond the daily limit. Limit of 100 per day for $20 a month. I don't know, did I just use like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six? So I used like seven or eight, maybe. Maybe, maybe I used 10. Um, so you get 10 times that for $20 a month. It's pretty cheap. I would say it's, it's really not that bad to, to, you know, for what you get, you, you can get a MVP, uh, up and running pretty quick and in just a matter of minutes, clearly. So I've been doing this, what, like 10 minutes. Um, let's go back over to Superbase and just see, I have my demo here. Let's go to my table editor. I don't see any tables in here. Um, Yeah. It looks like it didn't create the tables. I th I think it does. I saw I was watching a video and it does create that. I think I just have run out of credits here. Um, and I should. Can you create the tables in Superbase? Yeah, it's not gonna not gonna do that for me. So I know that you can do that. So it's a bummer I didn't get to show it in this video. But um, you know, I just I of course needed my brutalist styling. <laughs> more important than the database for some reason. Anyway, um, it'd be nice if they had a little more use on the free plan. Cause I feel like I blew through that pretty quick. Uh, but you know, I understand it's, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's probably a loss leader for them, but yeah, anyway, that's, that's the, that's the sort of quick look at lovable. Um, you know, I, let me know if you find this interesting and I'm happy to take a closer look and see what we can get up and running. I, I like that you can just kind of publish your app right away. You can hook up a super base backend to it. It's very affordable on the, on the paid plan. Um, yeah, I think there's a, a lot of interesting things going on in this sphere. And I think it's uh, important to just kind of keep abreast of, of what's happening. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm happy to take a closer look at any of these tools. Are you using these tools? Do you see benefit coming in from the WordPress sphere? Uh, being able to quickly prototype things like this. Um, let me know what you think. All right. See you in the next one.